Becoming an astronaut was like you were walking in the clouds when you first found out that you'd been selected. My first space flight was on the space shuttle Endeavour, STS-113. Rolling onto the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the international outpost. The Expedition 6 crew, Ken Bowersox, Nikolai Budarin, and Don Pettit seated down on the mid deck headed for their new home in space. Looking at Earth from space is amazingly beautiful. It's a perspective where you can see things on the length scale of half a continent. Apart from everything else an astronaut does on orbit, Photography is actually part of our job. I'm going to set up to do atmospheric air glow images. We take pictures of Earth and the surroundings of Earth, the upper atmosphere. Manual, you got to manually do the f-stop, you got to manually do the focus, and now you got to look through this thing. These pictures in themselves represent a scientific data set recorded over now for 14 years. Astronaut imagery of Earth is an example of learning what you need to take pictures of and how to take the pictures. Space is a place where your normal intuition does not apply. Things don't work the way they do down here on Earth. You are moving at eight kilometers a second. That's fast, and so you have to be able to slew the camera at the same rate of orbital motion while you're taking pictures to actually get the sharpest imagery. My favorite subject is the, the Earth at night. Aurora is just amazingly beautiful. It, it's this glowing upper part of the atmosphere that crawls around like amoebas in the sky, and then cities at night the way human beings sprinkle their light bulbs around. It's a fascinating statement on how we as human beings define our urban areas. In terms of the star trail pictures, the stars are moving because of the pitch axis of station. The cities move by because of your orbital motion and Earth's rotation. There's all kinds of other delightful physics and natural phenomenon that you can see in these pictures and we can uh, you know, tickle our imagination and enrich our minds from this gain in knowledge. When you explore a frontier, the people who explore bring back images and bring back stories about what these frontiers are like I feel an obligation to share this experience so that everybody else can at least participate through the eyes of the people who do go into the frontiers. 
I'm Don Pettit. I'm a photographer and an astronaut.